We are the Department of Family and Community Engagement and we're very excited about really engaging and involving and connecting with all parents in Henrico County Public Schools. Our children have to deal with it as well. And ultimately when we help our parents, we're ultimately helping our children because those students will be the recipient of, of great growth and information that their parents receive. I'm the Director of Family Engagement. We also have two coordinators, one who works primarily with our community partners and one who supervises all of our family advocates. We also have 24 family advocates. And so the goal of those persons is to work directly in the school, supporting the principals. So our advocates advocate for our families. And that's pretty much the mission of our team. We meet parents where they are. Big Blue is our mobile resource center. Uh, we take it out and about to different communities, uh, schools. We provide books, we provide resources, we sometimes give out clothing from the bus. It's been great and it's been really impactful and a great way to, to reach our families. All summer long, Big Blue has visited not only Coventry, but Oak Mead Apartments in New Bridge Village as well to provide resources for our families and it's been a great turnout and it's just a wonderful resource for our communities. Our students don't always have access to libraries because of lack of transportation needs. So um, we have experienced over the years a tremendous summer slide um, when students come back in the fall because they just don't have access to books. So Big Blue coming out to the community in St. Luke's has been an invaluable service. And what I have witnessed is that not only are the students uh, reading and the students have access to books, but I've seen the parents go in. They have uh, books for adults and I've seen them choose books together as they would in a library so that they can read together at home, which is an invaluable tool. So the more practice that they have, the better readers they become. We're giving out tons and tons of books. I know we've given out about over 8,000. Could be close to 9,000 at this point. We have had I'd say over 5,000 visitors on Big Blue. We were able to do reading contests with our summer program, um, and they were able to get a lot of resources. And parents were able to come out and learn how to work with their children as well on math skills and reading skills. So bringing the library and those services to them is an invaluable service. What we have is the Family Learning Series, and that's on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So we have Tuesday evenings, we have a workshop presentation for parents. And then during the day on Wednesdays, we have a workshop presentation. And my daughter, who um, is also dyslexic, she probably has seven or eight. It's not about so much teaching them the skills. It's about instilling a love for books and for reading. Usually the sessions last for about an hour to hour and a half and there's a speaker that talks about a particular topic and then of course we always have an opportunity for parents to have some input so we're trying to have a broad spectrum of topics to attract parents from pre-k to college and getting their kids college and career ready so please look at your program I had the opportunity to meet with Pam Bell uh, early last fall and she was gracious enough to invite me to the Women on the Move uh, meeting out at Newbridge. You know, this was one of the highlights of my fall because it gave me some really great ideas in terms of what family engagement could look like in my own building and uh, how we could support others in the county. Just kind of getting a chance to see what they rolled out in year one, you know, it helped us plan for this upcoming year. <laughs> Pam Bell reached out and shared a little bit about the event. And we felt like, wow, that's a great forum for us to bring our online services directly to the community. So we jumped on that. Folks would come in and sit down either at the computer or we would encourage them to open up their mobile device and they would go to our Henrico County District website. And then from there, they can access all of our online services. Having that face-to-face -face interaction with those community members I think really opened up some doors. You know, school is not just about just educating kids. You know, our mission, and I know as a former principal myself, my schools would not be what they are without the true partnership between home and school. And so uh, in our world today, we want to make sure that all parents feel welcome in our schools. We want them to feel like they're part of the decision making in our schools. We want them to be equipped so that they have all that they have, they need to know to make sure their kids are getting the best education possible. And so sometimes, you know, you need that group who's the advocate for them to make sure they are well informed and supported 
and then also helping to bridge that gap between home and school. And so it's just very key that everyone, all stakeholders, are part of this process.